Hey, what is up, YouTube? I hope you are having a great weekend this weekend. Yesterday, I was going to do Flat Bar Fridays, but like I said, I got caught up on my cousin's birthday thing. I had errands to run right, right after work, and I didn't really have time to get all that stuff done and shit, you know? So, I said, you know what? Let me make a, a little vlog, pretty much, you know? Of the reasons why I quit marijuana for good. I have so many pros about it and cons on why I quit. Like, I'm going to go into, like, the good and bad vibes about marijuana and the dark, ugly side of the truth of marijuana. The, um, me not having money in my pockets because of it and everything like that. Because when I stopped smoking weed, it was around my senior year. I stopped that shit completely. And I'll go, I'll go into that part in a little bit. But my whole point of view of this video is, is not to make you quit weed. Because, like I said, if you love what you're doing, bro, you love what you're doing, you know? Me, I quit for a certain reason because I felt like it wasn't doing any good to me and stuff like that. And I am going to get into that point later on too in this video. But we're going to start off on how I started. Like most skaters, they start off like skating and they start like skating with skaters who smoke weed. No, with me, it was never like that. With me, I just started off skating in front of my house. Me and my friends, we were innocent. We weren't potheads or anything like that. When I started doing sports... That's when I started smoking weed. That's when I started doing all that stuff. And I feel like doing sports made me get into that route. And I'm not saying sports is a bad thing because um, some people who do sports are innocent, but majority of the people that you see do sports are not innocent, I promise you. They either do, do drugs, drink, smoke marijuana. And I'm not saying that's bad. You're, you're young, you're living your life. That's cool. Me, I was like that too, but when I graduated, I, I, I'm the type who thinks about my future. Like, I was like, what about when I graduate, dude? I'm still going to be doing this shit, dude. Always being broke because I don't have money to take care of myself. Like, I want to skate and have fun the way I used to. Because when I was smoking marijuana, it was hard for me to get that motivation to skate, you know? So, it was hard for me to quit marijuana. I'm not going to lie. It was so bad, dude. Like, I was always hotboxing the fuck out of my closet. And me... I was always smoking Reggie, Mids, Exotic, because the 2021 stoners, they don't really consider you a real stoner if you don't smoke Exotic. It's really weird. It's really the opposite way. The real stoners were the ones who smoke Reggie, uh, Mids, and Exotic. To me, those are the real stoners, and not just that they smoke mid grades and low grades and high grades, it's more about them smoking blunts joint hitting the bong like i was that type of like person when i was smoking just like like smoking out of the bong and i could go so much in depth about it but i'm not gonna go so far into depth about that i mean i don't know dude it all depends you know because this generation they're all about like exotic only people forget that there's good reggie out there like i don't smoke weed but like when i was smoking weed like i was always looking for good reggie instead of like shitty reggie you know because Reggie stinks, dude, like in a bad way. It don't even smell good sometimes. Sometimes it burns your throat, but there's smooth Reggie that it hits so smooth where you'll enjoy it. But not gonna go into depth about that anymore. I'm gonna go into the good vibes about marijuana. You can smoke weed, be in your own little circle. You could be in your own little uh, space where you're no around no one. You're just alone and you're just enjoying your weed. You're watching a movie, you're getting the munchies, you're listening to music. You know, that's the good vibes about marijuana. But the bad vibes is when you're smoking around the wrong people. And uh, sometimes people try to get into drama about weed and marijuana. And I saw that ugly side when I was smoking weed back then. I don't know, man. I just uh, got tired of my ways and shit, dude. I was like, I don't like this about me, dude. Like, I'm really smoking weed just to full the fulfill some and wholesome, you know? When I could be out skating getting better at skateboarding yeah i might never get sponsored or anything like that because uh, at the end of the day i'm skateboarding for fun and i'm just having fun you know and i have a job like i have a car to get me around places uh, you know trying to save money to take care of myself spend my money on the things that i really need and uh yeah dude uh i could go so much in depth about it but not gonna go so much in depth about that part but let me get into the ugly side of weed. Whenever I quit smoking marijuana, and if you're a homeboy or a homegirl, look, dude, if you watch my videos, 
I'm not talking bad about you and um, don't feel any type of way because um, this is what I see from my point of view because even when I saw smoking weed, people that still smoke weed still fucked with me. What Still fucked with me even though I didn't even smoke weed anymore. But I noticed that people stopped talking to me because like I, I either wasn't a weed smoker or I was just in my own lane and some people probably didn't like that you know i'm not saying that's what it is because this is just my scenario my point of view like i said i could be overthinking you know but i just noticed like when i whenever i was smoking weed nobody wanted it like really fuck with me anymore but when i was smoking a lot of marijuana people that like i never even spoke to were like just talking to me you know and i just felt so weird about it i was just like why are they talking to me like you know it's just weird it's just a weird feeling you know like i just kind of got to the point where like i just noticed the real side of marijuana and the way i saw it was do we really need to smoke weed to get along or like to get close to each other or anything like that can we just get close to each other without smoking weed or anything like that that's kind of the reason why i kind of stopped smoking marijuana too because i just saw the ugly side of marijuana and when it when I started smoking weed and my mom found out, it was just one of those things like she was always telling me, dude, you, let, let me be real. There is some good benefits towards weed and stuff, but you're always going to be broke or one of your uh, friends is going to want to like turn down on you because of weed and everything like that. And like I agreed with her with that, dude. And that kind of like when I thought about her quote on that, I took that advice. I took that advice. I'm telling you dude marijuana could be good vibes but there is some bad sides of marijuana and even though i don't smoke weed anymore like i still treat people the same even if they smoke weed because weed is weed i don't think it's a drug but the thing is um some people stay motivated and it makes them productive when they smoke weed with me it was the opposite it put it put me in a lazy mode you know and it kind of made me more depressed. Like, yeah, it kind of made me have a good time. But what about when it wore it off of me? I need more. I need more. I need more. I feel like weed doesn't really fit depression. I think it makes depression worse. And I don't know. Maybe it helps you. Maybe it helps you, bro. I'm, I'm looking at you right now. Maybe it helps you. And if it's helping you, you keep smoking your marijuana, all right? You keep smoking that dank. But other than that, guys, um... How was I able to quit? Honestly, I kind of remembered how I quit because I was still kind of telling myself, how did I quit? Because I have passions. I have goals that I want, you know? And um, if you really don't have goals or if you don't have none of that, dude, you need to change your ways, bro, because now I see the ugly side of marijuana. Sometimes it can make you lazy and you might lose focus on your goals, bro. So if I were you, maybe cut down the marijuana just a little bit but don't be overdoing it bro like i said dude um i quit because like i i wanted to graduate senior year first of all second of all i wanted to get back into skateboarding because it was making it harder for me to even skate so i got tired of that you know i wanted to not feel so like i don't want to have breathing problems when i'm skating and shit and uh, not only just that, um, I just wanted to graduate. You know, I, I needed to be in the right mindset. Other than that, dude, um, I was smoking CBD during my senior year. Not every day. It was just like once a month or something like that. And it was okay, but I, it still kind of made... Like with you, bro, it's like you try to smoke your shit in one day. And like that's what I was. You know, I wanted to smoke my weed all in one day. Sometimes I wouldn't smoke it all in one day because like... When I did, I wanted to get a job during high school, but my parents didn't want me to because they wanted me to focus on school. So like, um, I'd either go cut grass sometimes so I could have money for weed, or I'd ask my parents for money. And like, I wanted to get a job and stuff, but like most kids that have jobs in high school and stuff, their parents said, fuck it, go get a job, go get a job. My parents, they grew up having that life where they had to get a job during high school and they know the consequences where they didn't even almost graduate high school so they didn't want us getting a job so right after high school i started working and stuff so i said i want to spend my money on better things i want to spend my money on clothes i want to spend my money on uh camera equipment for youtube 
I wanted to like whenever like I just wanted to have money to take care of myself I wanted money for like a new car and stuff and um, I don't know dude like I obviously don't want to do a job for the rest of my life you know I just think it's a good side hustle for me while I'm doing YouTube and skateboarding and trying to progress and stuff like that all right guys I think that's a wrap up for us so I guess I'll catch you later and don't forget to give us a like and a comment and subscribe and if you're a weed smoker bro and you feel like it's doing good for you you keep smoking marijuana me it wasn't doing good if you're that one person who has goals and passions bro I'd say quit marijuana for good and everything like that dude life's gonna fucking throw rocks at us no matter what I feel like that's why so many people smoke marijuana because they had to deal with people at their jobs and with fucking stinky attitudes and everything like that bro there's nothing you could do about that because um even when you're not at work you're gonna be dealing with attitudes when you get out of work when you go out into the real world like to go shopping at the mall and you're trying to uh, talk to the employee that works there because you need help looking for something they're gonna fucking throw attitude like there's no escape from attitudes bro so like I said you should still like quit smoking marijuana even if it helps you deal with attitudes and stuff dude that's one thing I noticed why people smoke because like, they had to deal with fucking bad attitudes every day and it puts so much stress on them like I said bro Marijuana, I think it makes depression worse. And like I said, if you're a real stoner, you might not agree with me. Or you might agree. So, like I said, guys, hopefully next Friday I could get to the Flat Bar Friday video and stuff. Flat Bar Fridays, I'm just learning every new trick pretty much, guys, on my rail. That's pretty much about it. And I'm just going to talk about, like, how my week went and everything like that while I'm skating my rail. And I'm just doing voiceover for y'all. So, like I said, I'll catch you later. So, Deuces.